Hey guys, it's Lego Maestro here, and welcome back to another episode of High Pixel Alert. Guys, the news is out on a Monday. It's the Minecraft Monday show now. No, it's not, but you'll notice something a little different today. Yup. I do have allergies, as you can see, I have a red nose, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is true, but I also am in a new studio this evening. Today I have a pretty good reason why the news is coming out a day later. As you can see, we are in a new studio. This wall was not here in the past. And also, sadly, the Minecraft items behind me are also gone, but I do have some good news about that. I'm just going to get into it real quick, and then we'll get into our news. Don't worry, this will not be the official setup forever, okay? For Hypixel Alert, there will be stuff behind me, but as of the next episode, it's actually going Going to be something i'm not going to spoil it i'll just let you know there is going to be some stuff behind me so be prepared for that and get excited and let's get into our first story this one is a guild patch update coming from jaya barman titled guild update follow-up patch so just to give you guys a brief summary of everything they added in this forum post the first thing is translation support they also added a new improved health command and rank names are also added to the hypixel form so your ranks will now show up when you are on your guild's page age. And as far as improvements go, goodness, just look at this list. I mean, this is absolutely huge. Jive Armin has been hard at work on this, so massive props. And not just that, when it comes to bug fixes, this has got to be one of the biggest updates I have seen. Just look at this screenshot. You can see it takes up the entire page. I mean, there's got to be at least like 30 bug fixes on this page. That is just absolutely incredible. I have no idea whether these were bug fixes that happened after this new update or before, because if this was before, I mean, there were a lot of bugs. Now, as far as what's going to come next in the guild updates they say they're going to add some quality of life improvements coming in the next few months but they say thankfully 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 the next major update to the guilds will be the guild fortresses now this was something obviously talked about since the very beginning of the guilds on hypixel when the original form post was created for guilds i'm pretty sure guild fortresses were mentioned in it and now it seems like they are finally going to happen but since they put the quality of life improvements happening in the next few months and the guild fortress update in a second separate type of column, I think they're actually going to be months apart. So I wouldn't be expecting the Guild Fortress update to come out anytime in 2018, but hey, 2019 is going to be starting soon. Well, also in the news, there was a Black Friday sale, as you can see here, that happened over the weekend. So hopefully you got yourself some good stuff. You got yourself a rank, some boosters, and stocked up on those MVP++ multipliers. And it turns out it's not just over the weekend. It actually takes place up until tomorrow as well. So if you haven't gotten anything, now would be the best time to do it. It says here up to 85% off, which is a pretty huge amount. Just so you know, I'm not sponsored by Hypixel to say this. I'm just saying, if you're getting yourself a booster, this would probably be a pretty good time to do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get into the juice, the good stuff of Hypixel Alert. You guys know the tournament's been going on, the Bed Wars 4v4v4v4 4v4 tournaments. They took place over the weekend, and of course, there was some drama to go along with it, and some really juicy stories. But before we get into that, I want to go through the statistics of the event. The forum post came out today by Miniclune titled, Bed Wars 4v4v4v4 4v4 4v4 Tournament Results. Showing there were over 71,000 games played, 225,000 beds broken, over 3.1 million kills. Guys, this is over a weekend. That is absolutely insane. Almost 700,000 final kills on top of that. 122,000 players died from, <laughs> from falling in the void. Wow, so... Uh... Oh, uh, not the best. And 147,000 players participated in the tournament. That's like, basically every person fell in the void at least once during the tournament, if you do the math. Oh, that's kind of embarrassing. I mean, hey, maybe there was just one dude who just kept falling. I, I have no idea. Anyway, here is a screenshot you can also see showing the top results for the players on the Bedwars tournament. The number one spot went to Philipso with 7,750 points. And less than 20 points behind him was Shazamingo. And 30 points under him was Jocko with 7,700. Homeagon, Marion, Unseated, Scooby, Walk, Salsa's Revenge, and Milky, 25. Congrats to all of you. That is some insane playage right there. If you guys remember the last episode of Hypix Alert, Mini Clune capped the amount of time you could spend on this tournament up to 20 hours. And I have a feeling that all 10 of these people did hit that maximum, so... You guys, they're probably not watching the video right now. They are sound asleep. And just a heads up, they also say they're going to reduce that time for, drumroll please, the next tournament. That's right, Mini Clune announces that they're going to be doing another one of these. At the very bottom of the forum post, it shows the next tournament will be announced and take place in December. Guys, that is within the next month. So I am really, really curious and very, very excited to see what the next tournament is going to be. It makes sense they would do Bed Wars first since there were so, so many people that played 
play that game and are really good at it. But I don't know, I think a lot of people are excited, not just myself, to see what is going to be next. Is it going to be Bed Wars 1v1s, 2v2? Is it going to be Duels, Sky Wars? I think a lot of people are waiting to find their minigame to come into the tournament. Like, I personally am waiting for TNT run, okay? Hi, Pixel, if you're watching this, please do a TNT run tournament, all right? I'm going to win some stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for that story right there. Hypixel also tweeted out, as you can see here, asking people what they want their next game to be. And just to let you know, almost all the replies had an equal amount of likes on every single mini game. So in other words, people just want a lot of tournaments. My personal guess is that they're going to do what duels next on the Hypixel server, but that is not our juicy story today. This one you might have been expecting me to cover from Time Dio this week. Over the weekend, he was accused of boosting on the Hypixel network Network, teaming with hacking players on the Hypixel network, which just so you know is a major offense. Now these rumors broke out after a video went live by Sackboy Clank titled Time Dio Boosting in the Bed Wars Tournament. The video shows a player getting attacked by clearly hacking players. As you can see, he's getting hit through the block here. And at the end of the game, once they win, it also shows that Time Dio was on their team. And this video kind of freaked out the Hypixel community because we have had a lot of instances recently on the Hypixel network with hacking and YouTubers and whatnot. And so this really was something that caught people's attention. Now there were so many questions that went through people's mind when this came out like is it real what does it mean what does time do have to say about it you know what are the facts and the context of this so of course i did reach out to time dio to get a statement from him and he said this basically i was invited to a team a few days before the tournament and since i was desperately looking for a good team i accepted I recognize two of the players already on the team, X Hascox, who was already in my guild, and is on HPC, and Jin, who was on Techno's 1800 win streak. And the other guy was just a friend of theirs, so I assumed he was good. I had never really heard anything about them cheating, so I just assumed I was in the clear. Obviously, if I knew I was teaming with hackers, I wouldn't have accepted, but Jin got banned during one of our games and has recently been unbanned, so I don't believe he's cheating. It's not like I scouted out hackers to carry me. I'm still getting hate from the AP boosting thing, and I don't want to ruin my reputation more by getting carried by hackers. So as you can see, Time Deal is playing the innocent card here, and I think he is legit about it. I don't think Time Deal is faking it, okay? Time Deal could beat these players in 1v1s. He is top of the line. I honestly expected him to win at this tournament. If you guys know Time Deal, then you would know that he would not risk his career over playing with people that would be hacking. I mean, there are so, so many other people he could have played with that are completely legit and play with people who are just as good as his teammates but of course he did not know that these were hackers now i am kind of curious why jen here got unbanned from hypixel because obviously one of the people in that video was hacking the one that was hitting him through a block and it did seem really sketchy like there were some hackers on time dio's team we may have seen the end of this story right here but i don't know personally this could go either way we could be seeing a whole nother ban wave a hypixel conspiracy or this could be the very end of the chapter but if you want to stay updated on that make Make sure you're subscribed right here on Hypixel Alert. You want to stay inside the loop on everything happening on Hypixel, especially this story with Time Dio. And being subscribed is, of course, the best way to do that. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm very excited. Pretty soon, I'm going to be releasing my new show, which I cannot tell you anything about too much. But I can also let you know that Hypixel Alert will be getting an upgrade by the next episode. There are some pretty amazing things I can't wait to show you. So again, make sure you're subscribed. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, putting a like on the video would be much appreciated because it shows that you like what I do here. And of course, if you've got any news to submit you think is worth covering in the show, my Twitter and Discord are in the description as always. If you would like to submit... But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching. And hi, Pixel Nation now. Over 35.1 thousand subscribers. And I will see you next time.